go. Back, 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 back. Good afternoon everyone. So I went up before I let the cows go then fed out because it is a little bit of a hike that is the furthest paddock up there. As you can see the girls are painted blue and green at the moment on their bums because we are a week into mating. So I am just on the lookout now for cows which have been cycling. That cow there is cycling. We did her this morning. 117. I think we did her too. But I'm just going to put them on the feed pad for their afternoon meal. And then go up to the cow shed and get ready for tomorrow because we have another day mating in store for us. I'm just having a quick little look before I head up to see if I can see any cows that are cycling at the moment. There are a couple like this one here, number 12. So we got her this morning or she was on this morning so we've inseminated her. So she did have a blue bum like this and tomorrow she will be painted green. Everything got painted blue. If you're a regular subscriber or watch my videos, you would have seen that in a couple of videos ago. So everything starts off blue and then as they come on and we do them or inseminate them, they get a green bum. So if the green bum gets rubbed off, we know that it is a, well, what we call a return. It didn't hold after the first time. And I think all these cows, what are you girl? 104, she was on this morning. What are you? Uh, 301, I think she's a new one. We'll have a look at the cow shed soon, but you can just see all the paints off. They usually get rub marks just here where it gets real raw from the cows riding them. And I think that's about all up this side. That one we did her this morning. So you can see there her paint's off and the hair has also been rubbed off. So 154 did her. Bingo. I'd run out of long last semen this morning so they have delivered some more for today and they usually go in these cooler boxes so we'll put that in there for now and just take it through to the office. So with the semen and here comes these sheets here and these tell you what bulls you've got so these are the bull codes here as you can see there's three of them and uh, it says you need to use it, so you need to use this semen by the 19th and there's 10 lots of each for each bull, which are these three in here. So if we pull one out, and you're supposed to use them in order uh, because obviously the third one is lasts like a day longer. And this is called long last semen because that is it right there. So that straw is good to go, so it doesn't have to be frozen. I've had a lot of people ask me in the past if we use sex semen and no we've never used it before but this year, this year is the first time we're going to use it so I am pretty excited to see how it goes so part of the reason I want to try it this year is because I just want to put it to kick all good cows and um, see here for calves this year most of my good cows or the cows that I like had bull calves and it just, I don't know, it annoys me, there's not much you can do about it but it just annoyed me a bit so I was pretty keen to give it a go. There is a bit of a push at the moment for sex semen. I think uh, sales of it are up like three times this year on what they normally are, so um, yeah, quite a bit. I'm trying 31 straws this year. So from the 10th to the 13th of October, I had four straws a day. They deliver this these straws daily, so this is the sex stuff in this um, red box here. I'll put that back in there in the cooler now that we're done with that. And then from the 14th to the 18th, they are only delivering three straws a day. So they deliver it every single day. And tomorrow's lot that we have is from that bull there. And we'll look over here and see which bull it is, uh, just out of interest. So we got a good one today, which it is at Rockland Berkeley. So it's got a good BW. Uh, that is the team. So these are the bulls that you can get the sex theme and stuff with the jersey. Usually I've been getting the sort of bulls which are on the lower end of the BW scale, so it's good to finally get a good one. There's only three straws of it, but they also give you this list here. So um, my rep did this for me, and this is all the cows we have in the herd, and it's sort of like a traffic light system. So when the cows come in in the morning, you only want to put the sex semen to these green cows. Obviously you can put it to whatever cows you like, but they 
yeah it's just sort of like a basic um, information sheet I guess so you would get faster genetic gain I guess if you put it to these green cows if you didn't have any of them then the orange ones will do and then the red ones you do not want to put it to because they're obviously just not as good as the green ones but they sort of did that on when they carved so I think they carved in the first three weeks all these green ones um, and they have higher BWs out of the herd and then after that there is the DIY report so these are all the bulls that we could potentially use this year so there's quite a lot of them and then these are the cow numbers here so they uh, it's more like an inbreeding report so if you have say cow number two come on which is there you would not put that bull across it because there is a high risk of inbreeding so that just um, sums that up but we'll probably go into that more tomorrow sorry about all the mess I know it's real messy we need to have a good clean up so those are the cows that we did this morning and I write them on the whiteboard for tomorrow morning so we can just tell as they are not painted so we've seen number 12 before um, so we need to paint her green in the morning and that cow number 301 she's not on here which is good because that means that she can be put up for mating in the morning she's on heat she's ready to go so I'll see you in the morning Cups are on, we're milking, first row, but, yeah, she's not supposed to be there. Come on, how I go, up the steps, up the steps, come on. Oh, that worked out all right. Right, so we're into it, now we need to have a look and see if there's any cows in this row to do. There is one there that hasn't got tail paint on, number 34, the fourth one back. So look up on the board. <coughs> Oops, sorry, 34, she was done yesterday. So that means she gets painted. Just like that, or just like the blue. All done. Now I'm just having a look for any cows that are on. Boom, so you can see the red strip. So that's what happens, it all goes red like that, or orange it probably is. So we need to do her number 328. Just have a quick look out here too, if there's any others. Ah, oh, there is one that's been scratched over there. Can't see too many. I'll get her number though. 230. Now, I'll write it down here. So that was 328. Uh, 2.30 is out in the yard and I come across here to the mating report 3.28 so she's red that means don't give her six semen uh, and 2.30 just have a look to see if she's any good oh so we can do her 2.30 now we'll have a look on the inbreeding report so 3.28 should be on the last page She's not on here, so we can put her across any bull and 2.30, just out of interest sakes. Right, so there's 2.30 there, although we'll give her six semen, um, most probably. These are the bulls we can't use. So the first one on the sheet is 316009. Uh, so we could use that bull for both those cows. One straw out like that. That's the beauty of these straws, these long last straws, you just pull them out, give them a shake. There's a bit of an air bubble in there, so you want the air bubble going to one end. These are cutters. Cut it like that. Twist the let. In the end. And then the sheath, you just put the sheath on the end and we're good to go. So nice, quick and easy. Unlike the frozen stuff, you don't have to thaw them out, so <coughs> they're quite practical. So I'll just leave that there for Dad now and go and change the cups. Quick and easy, now they can go. We do things a little bit differently because we AI as we milk them. Which most people sort of draft them out and then their technician will come in later and do them. But I guess I'm lucky because dad used to do a run when he was younger so he's trained to do it. 
I'm not, I'd be, yeah. I just can't do it. And this cow here is on number 87. So she had a scratchy over here, but it's obviously been uh, pulled off. And we are finding we're gonna get a few of those, but it means they're still on, so she's good to go. We're gonna have a look in the book. Uh, 87, right, so there's actually a lot of bulls there that can't mate with her, so 320, uh, 29. So none of them, there is one 320, but it's 537, and that's 029, so she's good for six semen, yes. Nice little cow, too. Hard to do with one hand, right. One straw. And see down here I just put beside the number 87 and we're using six. So that's how I differ differentiate. Well I haven't got a beautiful sunrise for you, but check out that nice pink sky this morning. not a heck of a lot of action going on usually the ones that are getting ridden will be at the front here and they'll run up to the shed because I don't know they just seem to do that maybe they're looking for the bull they want to get in calf we really want to be doing sort of 15 to 20 a day I'd like 250 she's on she's on there was one there I don't know how many of those we did yesterday though hey girl 46 She's on, is that 301? No, 309, so that's good. All right, so there is a couple on. <whistles> 225. Uh, she was done yesterday, I think. Yep. Who else we got here? Come on, 112, you've been rubbed. That one there, was she done yesterday? No, so she's good to go. Oh, so she could go with six semen, she's orange. I'll just have a little look at her and see what her udder looks like, but nah, it looks pretty good actually. So I will put the six semen in here. Easy as. I am pretty excited to see how the six semen turns out. It has got a bit of a lower conception rate than the conventional stuff. And they can only guarantee, I think, 80% of the six semen will be hit the carb. So it's not bulletproof by any means, but it should give us just that few more heifer carbs. We sort of struggle to get our um, replacement number some years. So hopefully this is sort of just future-proofing that just a little bit. Plus we get um, heifers from good cows, which uh, yeah, that's one of my pet peeves, or, or one of the things I hate when um, your good cows don't have heifer calves. Definitely got that feeling to it that it's going to rain, so I don't know if we'll get much or not, but it's definitely cooled down. I took my beanie off before and realised there's a heap of cow poo on it too, so sorry, <laughs> that one needs to go in the wash. But the reason we sort of don't paint them the day we inseminate them is because that they'll just get ridden again probably today and it'll just get all rubbed off, so that's why we give it an extra day. Now that I've shut my cows away, there's just one more thing I've got to do before I can head in for breakfast. I just need to fill out this book here. So these are the bulls that we've used today and obviously the cows that we've put them into. This book's really just for keeping records because all the data in here will get put onto the computer and then, uh, yeah, it'll be into that database. But the benefits of this long last semen here is that you only pay for it if you use it. So last year I got a bull that I didn't like because it was only A1, A2 and I'm only using A2, A2 bulls. So I just chucked the whole lot away and no questions asked. If you did it all the time and you had, um, yeah, heaps that you were chucking away, I guess they might ask a few questions then, but... Uh, you are allowed to do it obviously because they have got used by dates and you don't know how many cows you get on per day. Whereas with this uh, stuff that's in the ice bank, it is pre-purchased so you buy it and then they deliver it later on. Because it obviously stores, I've got stuff in there that um, has been in there for probably two years I think, which I'm trying to use up this year. Didn't use any frozen stuff today, uh, I will chew through the long last stuff first and then if we run out we will use the frozen stuff, that's how we do it.
But just a little statistic while I'm here, so this is our 10th day mating, so there's 5 days there and 5 on that page. And I sort of add them as I go, so 2, as of from today, we had 10 done today, we've had 153 that we've submitted, and that means it's 48% of the herd. I'm not too sure if that's good, bad or indifferent, that percentage, I just keep it because I want to sort of track it compared to other years for us. Not trying to compare it to anyone else or anything. I was trying to find last year's records but I couldn't find them so I'll have to hunt a little bit harder because I was sort of hoping to compare it to that because last year we had a pretty good mating so I just want to see if we're on track. I feel though like we're not getting enough cows through at the moment. It's sort of been a little bit slow but we're only a week and a half into it so I don't know they could start coming on the next uh, week and a half. I'm also real excited to use the sex semen and see how it goes. It's going to be interesting to see how many cows come back around as a return that I've used it on. So out of that 31 straws, I think tomorrow's our last day using it. That would have been 9 days, potentially. It's either 9 or 10 days. Uh, and to see how many heifer calves we get out of it, because they say 80% of the straws that held will be heifer calves so it's definitely not 100 and it's definitely not bulletproof but the reason i haven't used it in the past is because it's generally frozen stuff and the conception rate or the hold rate uh, is nowhere near what conventional stuff is so that's just why we haven't gone there but i wanted to try because this year it is fresh they're delivering it daily they say the hold rate is not far off the conventional i think it's like three to five percent so i was willing to sort of give it a go it is way more expensive though, I think the uh, six semen straws are something like 60 or 70 dollars each whereas uh, the other stuff is like 20 to 25 so yeah it is pretty pricey, that's why I'm only trying 30 straws or only a little bit <laughs> and we'll revise it after that. But I hope you liked today's video, if you did give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions drop them down below and I'll try and answer them for you. But that'll pretty much do it so other than that I shall see you next time.